శ్రీమన్ ఆల్ ఇన్ఫో మీడియా ప్రేక్షకులందరికీ స్వాగతం ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ హ్యావ్ టు లెర్న్ ఫోర్త్ క్లాస్ అవర్ వరల్డ్ వర్క్ బుక్ వర్క్ షీట్స్ చాప్టర్ త్రీ యానిమల్స్ అరౌండ్ అజ్ గ్లోజరీ మైగ్రేటింగ్ మూవింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ ప్లేస్ టు ఎనదర్ హెర్బీ వోర్స్ యానిమల్స్ దట్ ఫెడ్ ఆన్ ప్లాంట్స్ కార్నీ వోర్స్ యానిమల్స్ దట్ ఫెడ్ ఆన్ యానిమల్స్ ఓమ్నీ వోర్స్ యానిమల్స్ దట్ ఫీడ్ ఆన్ బోత్ ప్లాంట్స్ అండ్ యానిమల్స్ సిక్రిషియన్ సబ్స్టెన్సెస్ ప్రొడ్యూస్డ్ ఆర్ డిశ్చార్జ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సెల్ వర్క్షీట్ నెంబర్ వన్ కాన్సెప్ట్ యానిమల్స్ అరౌండ్ అజ్ రీరైడ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ వర్డ్స్ వెకేషన్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ లాఫింగ్ మిస్ప్లేస్డ్ హ్యాబిట్ జూ ఫారెట్స్ సెకండ్ క్వశ్చన్ రైడ్ ద నేమ్స్ ఆఫ్ యానిమల్స్ అకార్డింగ్ టు దేర్ హ్యాబిట్స్ land fox lion tiger water fish whales dolphins tree monkey squirrels koalas land and water frog crocodiles tortoise join the dots and color the pictures frog and cat అవుల్ క్యాంగ్రు ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఆన్సర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ నేమ్ ఫైవ్ యానిమల్స్ దట్ లివ్ అరౌండ్ అజ్ డాగ్ క్యాట్ కౌ గోట్ పిగ్ నేమ్ ఫైవ్ యానిమల్స్ దట్ లివ్ ఇన్ ఫారెస్ట్స్ లైన్ టైగర్ డీర్ ఎలిఫెంట్ ఉల్ఫ్ వర్క్షీట్ నెంబర్ టూ కాన్సెప్ట్ క్లాసిఫికేషన్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ఇయర్స్ రీరైడ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ వర్డ్స్ ఎలిఫెంట్ లిజార్డ్ క్రో స్పారో బిగ్గెస్ట్ టినీ హోల్స్ లెపార్ట్ డ్రా ద అదర్ హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద యానిమల్ ఎలిఫెంట్ differentiate the animals which have ears that can be seen and which have ears that cannot be seen duck elephant cat dog cow lizard crow sparrow snake bear whose ears can be seen elephant cat dog cow bear whose ears cannot be seen duck lizard crow sparrow snake fill in the blanks dash has the biggest ears elephant birds have tiny dash on both sides of its head ears the tiny holes covered with dash help the birds to hear feathers worksheet number 3 concept classification based on skin and hair reread the following words sheep sweaters blankets leopard viviparous oviparous dolphins draw the skin patterns of the following animals horse lion write two examples for each animals with soft skin horse dog animals with thick fur sheep bear animals with spots deer giraffe animals with strips tiger zebra answer the following which animals are called oviparous animals that lay eggs are called oviparous which animals are called viviparous animals that give 
birth to young ones are called viviparous complete the following table with suitable examples viviparous 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 duck hen snake ostrich viviparous cat dog cow monkey viviparous lizard viviparous elephant worksheet number 4 concept classification based on food habits related the following words pattern herbivores caterpillar carnivores flesh beak vulture eagle fill the given table what they eat what they are called examples plants and plants products herbivores example cow buffalo goat deer zebra eat the meat of other animals are called carnivores example tiger lion plants and animals omnivores example crows human beings observe the animals around you and write what they usually eat animals eating habits animals eating habits cow grass and greens lizard insects dog meat bones curd rice butterfly nectar from flowers goat grass and greens cat meat rice milk rats etc crow grains seeds meat nuts rat grains seeds garbage scraps fish earthworms water fleas man fruits vegetables meat etc fill in the blanks animals having sharp cutting teeth and strong grinding teeth are herbivores dash is an example for a herbivore cow animals that have long sharp teeth to eat meat are called carnivores dash is an example for carnivore tiger the animals that have sharp cutting teeth strong gridding teeth are called omnivores dash is an example for an omnivore bee worksheet number 5 concept birds and their beaks related the following words walking climbing swimming self defense weaver burrows spider stick stitches web match the following birds beaks duck d flat beak sparrow e short beak eagle a hooked beak crane c long beak woodpecker b strong and sharp beak what do the birds use their beaks for birds use their beaks to get food their beaks are different shapes and size draw the beaks of different birds and color them green eagle duck crow kingfisher worksheet number 6 concept birds class and nets related the following words weaver bird woodpecker eagle heron rocky match the following birds nests crow see things under dried leaves weaver bird a grass leaves things and leaves tiger bird d leaves eagle e large sticks or plant stalks sparrow b dried grass why do birds build their nests birds build their nests one to lay eggs in and keep them safe to incubate their eggs 
to protect their eggs and chicks from bad weather conditions. Join the dots and color the picture. Eagle. Color the class of different birds. Woodpecker, heron, owl, duck, eagle, green. Worksheet number 7. Concept. Group behavior. Birds, ants, honeybee. Reread the following words. Pluck, behavior, migrating, journey, queen ants, honeycomb, division, discipline. Choose the correct answer. Honeybees and ant live in dash groups. Honeybees build dash beehives. There are dash in a beehive colonies. Honeybees share food with other dash bees. We get dash from honey combs. Honey. The honey bee wants to reach the honeycomb. Draw the way for it. This is the way. Draw honey bee on each flower. Honey bees on the flowers. Some ants are going in a line in search of food. I have drawn an ant. Draw the remaining ants in the line. Worksheet number 9. Concept. Group behavior elephants. Color the elephants. The group of elephants. Fill the blanks. Elephants live together in herds. Nearly 10 or 12 elephants move in dash along with their babies, a herd. The dash elephant leads the herd. Female, elder female elephant. The elder female elephant starts the journey in the morning with a dash herd. The way of living in groups provides protection. Worksheet number 10 Assessment Improve your learning Give some ex examples of animals that have fur on their skin. Bear, squirrels, sheep, dogs and foxes have fur on their skin. Why hen is called an oviparous animal? Hen lay eggs, incubate and hatch their young ones, so hen is called oviparous. Sarath says that the duck and the crocodile belong the same group. Do you agree with him? Why? No, I don't agree because duck is a oviparous omnivores. It eats small fishes and insects, also eats aquatic plants and small grains but a crocodile or carnivores. What will happen if there are no crows? If crows are not there, it leads to increase of diseases because crows eats flesh of dead animals and keep our environment free of diseases. Observe the legs of a dog and the legs of a hen. Write the differences between them. Dog has four legs. They are long than the legs of hen. The legs of dog help them to run and catch its food. Hen has two legs. The legs of the hen help them to dig the ground to find food. Collect the pictures of herbivores, carnivores and omnivores and make a scrapbook. Student activity. Draw the picture of the animal that you like very much and color it. I like line. What activities would you like to take up to protect birds? 
we should take care of our pets and should not attack on the birds we should not purchase birds illegally keep the pets indoors mark indoors assessment 3 choose the correct answer the ears of a bird are covered with a feathers the animals that eat only plants or plant products are called c herbivores a dash waves its own web c spider fill the blanks the thick fur of dash is used to make sweaters and blankets the sheep dash have sharp teeth to tear the meat carnivores dash birds its nest dash bulls its nest on rock cliffs an eagle match the following column a column b cow b herbivores line c carnivores b a omnivores draw the and color draw the picture of a hen and color it this is a hen answer the following questions why do some animals live in groups the world is full of animals that live in groups they live in groups because it helps some animals avoid getting eaten by predators working together can help also them to find more food why do birds build nests birds build nests to play to lay eggs in and keep them safe to incubate their eggs to protect their eggs and chicks from bad weather thank you for watching subscribe my channel